Yuri and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. Destroyed. Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Enforcement. I often deal with police while on the job.
Yes. Tell me, stranger, what's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I... I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough.
Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Thank <laughs> you. 